How's it going guys, welcome back. In today's video, I'm going to explain to you and go through how I personally see buy side and sell side liquidity. And what I'm going to do, first of all, is we're on the four hour chart, so I'll jump down onto the 15 minute chart and I'll kind of explain kind of what I've got going on right here, right? So, um, take this out of bar replay. But what we've got, right, as you can see on chart, is we've got two indicators. So we've got FX market sessions, which just highlights, you know, ICT kill zones. So what I trade is I trade London kill zone and also New York kill zone. This is the times where most high probability trades come up for my personal strategy. It's times when the most volume within the market is. And, you know, it just makes sense for me to trade this time, you know, around my personal life and things like that. So first of all, as I said, we've got market sessions. So just, you know, London and New York kill zone. Very, very simple. And then the second indicator will be the fractals indicator. And all fractals does for me is it highlights more prominent highs and lows within the market. And it kind of makes my trading strategy a lot more mechanical rather than, you know, just choosing any random high and low, you know, to trade from or choose as a liquidity pool. So let's just say that I'm at the charts, right? And I'm sort of looking for a liquidity pool. There's a very good example right here. So, you know, let's just say that I'm looking at a liquidity pool from all the way over to the left hand side. And I say, oh, th this right here looks very good, really nice liquidity. It's, you know, relative equal highs. You know, it's got stacked, you know, trend line liquidity as well. And it comes up, it takes off, we get a good reaction. And yeah, you could possibly get a good trade from around here. That's absolutely fine. But for me, I like, you know, more mechanical strategies. And I like my strategies to, you know, answer the questions for me type of thing. So what I do personally is I take the fractals and I use the most recent fractal for my buy side or sell side liquidity with inside a London or New York kill zone. So what I'll do is I will just start sort of over here. And then as you can see, if we zoom out, we've been in quite a heavy downtrend for quite some time. It looks like we've got a higher time frame break to the upside right here. And then what has happened is if we look at London session, this right here could be considered a market structure shift. We then get a sweep of liquidity right here. And then what we could do is we could sort of enter on the bearish close if we wanted to do that. Or what you could do after this sweep right here, so if I just mark out the sweep, we get a nice sweep right here. So after this sweep, what you could do is you could drop down, you know, onto a lower time frame, a one minute, two minute, three minute, five minute time frame, whatever you want to do. Or you could also just enter on the 15 minute if you want to do that. As you can see, then the trade runs quite nicely. So we'll just leave it on right there. And then if I zoom back out a little bit, what you will notice that happens is we get a further break to the downside. So what we get is we get a further break to the downside right here. It breaks this fractal, trade straight through it. And then in New York kill zone, what happens? We come back up, we take this high as buy side liquidity. Then you could go ahead, enter on the bearish close. Or as I said before, you could drop down onto a lower time frame if you want to do that. Stop, stop above the high and then you could sort of trade towards the downside. A nice 2.6 to risk to reward depending on where you're targeting. You could target... You know, the most relevant place on this chart is probably this fractal right here, which would be a 4.75% trade. And then again, as you will notice in London kill zone. So I'll just delete that just to clean up the charts. If we just follow on to the next day, what you will notice, we're sort of still in this downtrend right here. And then we come up, we, we don't actually get a sweep of this fractal with inside session. So there's no trade right here for us. But then what we get is we get a trade to the opposite side, which could be considered counter trend. As you can see what happens, we get a trade after a take of this fractal right here. So we take this fractal as sell side liquidity this time. And then what we could do is we could enter on the bullish close, stop below the low, and then target sort of some sort of buy side liquidity right up here. You know, whether you take this trade or not is a different story because this trade is obviously... There's some sort of news release right here because you can clearly tell with the volatility. But kind of what we're looking at is we're looking for the most recent liquidity pool to be taken. So whether that's buy side or sell side liquidity. Let's just look at a couple more examples. So at this point right here, right, we've changed sort of into a bullish market. So let me just go on to the higher time frame. We'll go into the four hour, for example. So let's just jump onto the four hour. As you can see, the four hour does change trend right here. So we get a break to the upside. And then you could now start looking for bullish trades, knowing that we've actually had a higher high print here. And then, you know, we're looking for a higher low before a new higher high, which does actually get printed after a break of this high right here. So let's just see kind of what we're looking at. And let's see if there's any more available trades. 
So as I said before, we would be looking to trade up and towards this four hour high right here. And then as you will notice, you know, price does go ahead and trade up to this eventually. So what we could be looking for, we've now got our bias. We've got a four hour bias of bullish and we're looking for buys. So what you will notice in London kill zone on Thursday, the 8th of June, we get a take of this most recent sell side liquidity. We get a trade right here. You could enter on the bullish close if you want to do that. Stop below the lows. And then you could sort of target, you know, sort of this buy side liquidity right here. As you can see, it runs really, really nicely. A 1 to 5.98, you know, 1 to 6 trade. Very, very nice. Very, very simple stuff. And like I said before, you know, for me personally, the most recent liquidity pools are the best ones to be trading from. There's no guesswork. You're not looking days and weeks back into the past. You're looking at the most recent with inside your kill zone. So that's the overall way that I see buy side and sell side liquidity. Super simple, super easy. If you have any questions, as always, feel free to drop them in the comment section down below. If this video did help you out, please leave a like on today's video. And without further ado, guys, thank you very much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.